We're going to get boring and technical today, creatives. You know how with nutrition, you need a whole bunch of different things. You know, you can't just live on bread. You can't just live on rice. You can't just live on candy. You need things. You need calcium. You need iron. You need protein, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, as an artist, you need different things too. We tend to default to only taking in the kind of art that we create because, I mean, Hey, that's what we like, right? That's our taste. But you need more than that. You really do need more than that. I'm not saying that you have to force yourself to take in a library's worth of stuff that you just don't like, but every once in a while, you need to step outside your wheelhouse. If you primarily only do fiction, it's time to pick up a biography. If you primarily only do postmodern art, it's time to look at some classical stuff, maybe even some anime. If you only listen to and write jazz, you need to break away from it for just a little while and listen to something else. Try some dark country or something. Now, you don't have to love the new things. It's not a requirement. But by listening to things outside of your normal style, you're gonna find that your own talent grows. You start to absorb different ways of doing things. You start to see new ways of approaching what you're trying to do. It will make you a better, healthier artist. You don't want artistic scurvy, trust me. And if you only take in one narrow kind of art, what you produce is gonna be a little bit of that. Don't be afraid. You're not gonna stop making what you like. This will only enhance what you create. Remember, everything you take in is just a new tool in your toolbox. You can do this creative. Be brave. Dive into something that you normally would never enjoy and see how you benefit from it. You won't regret the time spent. Now sit down with me and let's make something new.